I have had the good fortune of working about 12 years now as a full-time artist. And one of the constant themes through my work has been the rice fields. The very first piece I ever did, I, I started as a quilter. And you know how you look out of the airplane and you see the pattern and the light, and you say it looks like a quilt? After saying that 20 million times, I decided to give it a try. So one of my first pieces that featured the rice fields was really a quilt, um, bigger than this. These are little pictures. But it was the river going through the rice fields, winter, spring, summer, fall. Um, it was OK. It didn't have the texture, the dynamic. It, did, it just wasn't really working, to be honest. So I tried a totally different tack. And I started just sewing fabrics, one layer over another, and then cutting them up, and wetting them, and rubbing them, and throwing them in the dryer, trying to get some of that texture that you see. And I was getting closer, but it still wasn't really working. And so what I finally did was I just layered strips of fabric one over the other. This is a small image of a piece that's about 30 inches wide. And it's strips of fabric, it's the rice fields, it was finally starting to do what I wanted it to do. So this was my very first landscape and it was done in 1999, which was the year I applied for the EPA commission here in town. Got that commission, eight large landscapes, um, 50 by 50 each of them. The first one I did, of course, was the California Rice Lands. And um, since then, I've continued to do a number of pieces. I, I just am constantly attracted to the patterns and the light. So don't know which one of these will be next, but probably one of these will be a future collage in the near, near coming time. So keep tuned. We'll see what happens.